Oh, hey, it's Rob again in the kitchen. Um, going to be cooking a little something today. You know, we've been sequestered for a while and uh, things are starting to get a little strange. Uh, so, you know, kind of hitting the bottom of the barrel and some of the, the foods that we're eating. So I uh, wanted to try and make something special today. A little uh, leftover scrounging, I guess. Okay, so for this one, we're going to start with some nice New York cheddar. Nice, sharp New York cheddar cheese. And I'm putting this down directly onto the silk pad. Uh, the cheese will not stick to this, which is a very nice thing. And we make a nice uh, crust layer. The next thing we want, some uh, Cheetos. We want to get some nice ones. I mean, the small ones will do, but we want to get some of the bigger ones out here. Yeah, get some of these. There's some nice ones. You know, the, the little crummy ones you can leave just by themselves. They're not going to be all that amazing, but we want to get some of the some of the bigger ones. Some of the ones that have a little more uh, substance to them. There's one. Uh, okay, I'll go like that. Next thing you want, leftover string cheese. Now, I prefer the smoked string cheese, but uh, you can do it however you'd like. Now, these have been out for a little while. I had some string cheese earlier today. I'm having some right now, as a matter of fact. But, I really like the smoked string cheese. And what we want to do is wrap string cheese around the Cheetos. And it's one of the nice things about having this be a little bit warm. It's a little easier to wrap. You don't have to be super accurate about this, but it is kind of nice presentation-wise. You know, if it breaks, it breaks. Big deal. Eventually, when you get down to the last stick, what I suggest is that instead of wrapping, you lay down some lines. Try and keep to a nice geometric shape if you can, because the presentation will be quite a bit better. And, you know, presentation is everything when you're cooking. I know it doesn't look like much right now. It, it's kind of one color and all that, but, you know, we're not done yet. Pieces in there. Just like that. And there we go. Now you want to make sure that all these pieces are staying on the sill pad. And I'm adding some crushed pepper. This happens to be some smoked cayenne. And this is a little trick that I learned from Granny. And you have these cheese sheets like this. You want to go the long edge because these are not entirely square. And set them up so that they make a nice little frame. the whole piece. I'm using a couple different kinds of cheese. You really don't have to. Um, it's probably better if you stick with one kind of cheese because that way it will you know, cook evenly and wrangle all that. But you don't really need to. Uh, I want to keep the you know the nice straight edge out. Oh, no, you can't be there. Um, 
right? That's more or less the way that I want it. See how we have this nice little sort of torn rectangular area in the center. It's all nicely in framed. What we're going to do is pop this into an oven that's sitting at 350 degrees. It's, uh, I guess it's a convection oven, so that's about uh, 375 for if you don't have a convection oven. Speaking of which, there it is. So we're going to pop this in the oven and go. Now I'll come back and check on it in about 12 to 15 minutes. Okay, we open it up and look. And we got a big brown thing. And there we go. That is a uh, cheese snack of some sort. Crispy cheese. And if you notice, it uh, pretty easily separates from the soap hat. And you can break it off and have little cheese snacks. Crunchy, crunchy cheese with Cheetos in them. <laughs>